congratulations on getting your, your first professional win within the UFC. I know you got the Dana White Contender Series, but how, how are you feeling right now with that win? Uh, elated. Um, fantastic. Uh, I got, like, a win is a win, you know. I, I was looking for, like, a submission. I was looking for more of a knockout finish. So, um, I'm kind of sour about that. Uh, sour about, like, missing weight. So, like, that really took a little bit of my joy away. But all the less, you know, I got the finish. So, I couldn't be uh, any much happier. You brought the weight. You were so close to making weight. What was, what was the, 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 the disconnect there? What happened there? Uh, at the, like, uh, we went to 24-hour fi uh, fitness. And um, they had they had they had a scale there, and we was thinking like it's gonna be like a pound off, but it almost it, it happened to be like a pound and a half off. So I'm coming back thinking like, all right, I'm at 37 on this scale. So when I get to a lighter scale, like it'll be a pound difference. So when we when we got back uh, over by the hotel to do the official weigh-in and everything, um, I stepped on the scale and it said 130 like 138. So I was almost like two pounds over. So. Uh, I jumped back in the sauna box for like uh, for like 30 minutes, and um, I came out, and I'm thinking like, okay, I should be somewhere close. I was still running, like sweating good and everything, and um, I got to the scale. And it was like, oh, you still you still uh, one over. So I, I was kind of pissed about that, but you know, like in most situations, every time I ever like travel to a USC event, like it's always been a good scale at the gym that we were like cutting weight at. So I never had to worry about that up until this point. So it's a lesson learned there. Myself, did the craziness of yeah, that 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 played a part, but at the end of the day, like you're a professional, like you gotta be prepared for any curveball to come your way, you know. So like, I, I wouldn't blame that. Like, that's just another excuse, man. I, like, I fucked up. On the broadcast, uh, they said that Brian told you he was gonna be sending you the 20 percent that you forfeited back. Is that did that happen? Yeah, uh, he, he told me uh, after the fight, like, he's going to get my money back, so, I don't know, man. Thank that guy. Hopefully nice he didn't change his mind now that you were him out. <laughs> he told me after the fight, oh, so, you know, the fight, so okay. you hopefully, you know, he, he amended his words, so, you can't miss something you never had. So, tell us about the fight. It seems like once he got down with that elbow, it seemed like it was really at the beginning of the end. Is that what you said? Is that what you got him down? And what were you thinking, like, what's he happening? Once I dropped him, uh, I thought, like, you know, like, uh, a cat is most dangerous on his back. So, like, I'm thinking in my head, like, all right, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to continue the attacks, but I got to attack smart. Like, I don't, I don't want to rush it, and then I get my momentum stopped by getting caught in the arm bar or triangle or something, like, crazy, you know. So, it, I just took my time, you know, and um, I ain't commit no fouls. So, that's good. <laughs> and then, what I could... And, Contender series, I, I had a trifecta, man. I had all three, so like I didn't want to do that again. So I just take my time, you know, and look at what's presented, you know. This is a big win. I mean, he, he's got a win over former champion in a while. I mean, you know, he's been in there with some big names. You know, where do you feel this game too? I don't know, man. Probably on the up and up, you know. Like I, I'm not gonna worry about that, man. I'm just gonna get back to training, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about anything I can't control, man. I'm just gonna keep doing what I what I need to to win, you know. When did you know that you had you had that show in? Uh, I, I I heard him like muff a little bit, like he's like, like you know, you hear like that last breath, but you can't be fooled by that. You can't you can't be fooled? You got like keep applying that consistent pressure. You know, you can't just try to burn your arms out because what if you didn't like let go of that? You know, I gotta fight this guy for the rest of the round with tired arms. So I just kept that consistent pressure, you know, holding that pressure on her, you know. And when I felt that, that's when I turned it on. You know, I'm like, this guy's done. Were you, were you and your family affected at all, or your friends, teammates affected by the, by the change, hotel rooms, flights, any, anything kind of mess you up a little bit? No, uh, usually, usually I don't like traveling with like family or friends because it, like, I feel like it's, it's a part of my responsibility to make sure like everything's like all right, they're taken care of, they're not like missing anything, or if anything happens while they're here, like I feel like I'm responsible because I told them to come out here. So I, like, I don't want to like add anything to that investment on my part, mentally or physically. So I usually just tell them if you travel, you travel on your own. It's not, it's not gonna be like no real contact with me. I only focus on the fight and just dial in. So, and I'm not that nice when I'm, I'm putting weight at all. So, I, I don't, 
Like I'm a nice guy, but like, you know. You don't got no carbs, you do turn into a real piece of shit, you know, so I just, you know, I want them to remember me as a you know, positive person, so I just keep them away. Any concern about the weight that you just see a one-off just happened? No, man, it, it was just timing, man. Timing, man. Timing in the scale, man. Not having, you know, a good scale. Like, it's one thing to... It's one thing to like, just, oh, just miss weight. You miss weight because it is because of that, you know? Like, I just wasn't prepared. I didn't, like, we got a scale, but we don't travel with it. Because, like I said, the scale's always here, you know? Where we at is always a good scale, you know? So, you know where you at, like, okay? Coming out of, like, setting the sun with 15 minutes, you come out, okay? We, we lost a pound and a half, or we lost a pound, okay? Now, we can schedule it out with the time frame given. Like, we don't, when you don't have anything that's accurate, it's hard to, you know, to gauge where you're at. So, it was, it was my fault. Next time we're gonna try it with our own skill. And now you got your first uh, submission victory as a professional. So now when the athletes are looking and they're trying to see where they need to pre you know, prepare for you, where, where should they be prepared for you? I mean, are you a striker or they gotta watch out for your ground game? Well, no. Man, no. Um, the, the, the crazy thing about that, man, is like, like, like I, I was a high school wrestler, man. So like, some people think, they look at the regular thing, like, oh, this guy's all striking. Let them think that, man. The getting there is, is, is gonna be something different, you know? Like, whatever tool I need for a day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one out, so. I pride myself in being that guy that's not one-dimensional, that's not a one-trick pony, that's ready for any and everything, so. Let them keep thinking that. Let them keep watching that tape and thinking like, oh, this is the same guy we gonna see. Good luck. No, man, I'm here for everybody, man. Like, I'm not just gonna say, oh, I specifically want this guy or that, I want them all, you know? To be the best, you gotta beat the best. You gotta, you know, come one, come all, so whoever, you know? I'm making a difference. Cool, thank you, congratulations. Peace, love, and plenty of my brother.